Oh, this bitter cold makes it difficult for outdoor workers, especially firefighters who are trying to save lives. After three house fires this morning, we caught up with one of Detroit's bravest, the now Simon Chowdhury. Got a chance to speak with her. And Simon, it's a, a lot harder fighting fires in these extreme cold temperatures, right? That's right. I asked which, what's worse, the summer or the winter. And in the summertime, this firefighter said that you have to worry about heat strokes. But in the winter, yeah, you have to worry about yourself, but you also have to worry about a lot of other factors. Like, for example, when firefighters were battling this blaze this early morning, they had issues with frozen fire hydrants and frozen lines, and that can slow them down during crucial moments. The winter makes it difficult. The brave brave the cold. Trenise Tolliver has been a Detroit firefighter for almost 18 years. You know it's Michigan, so we can have it be hot one day and then freezing the next. Today, she and other firefighters battled the house fire and battled the cold temperatures. The line being frozen, you have to, you know, worry about that. The firefighters being frozen, the rigs freezing because we're carrying water. Two homes went up in flames on Hazelwood Street near Rosa Parks Boulevard overnight. During this bitter blast, ice forms everywhere. Icicles start to form on your face, the tears are frozen. Trini says when she's first to a scene, she doesn't think about the cold. Your adrenaline is going and I'll get out and check the hydrant and I'm running around and everything. And then once I get everything set and they're all good, and I was like, oh geez. I need to put my hat and stuff on because it's cold. Trenise tells us fighting fires in the winter is an unusual feeling because you can be hot and sweating on the inside, but ice can form on the outside of your gear. And once the fire is out, it gets cold fast. Oh shoot, let me go back and, <laughs> and get my coat or my hat. So which season is more difficult on firefighters? Winter is probably worse than summer. And Trini says it's a great opportunity to talk about respecting the fire hydrants here. You can see this one is out of service. She says that when people play around with them in the summer, turn them on on hot days, that ends up giving them problems during these winter times and winter months. And reminder to make sure you shovel around it so firefighters can access it during a crucial fire. Carolyn? And boy, don't we all know that minutes really do count. We know they work out for the job, but still it can be so dangerous and people are so happy when they arrive on the scene to save lives, right? Of course, Carolyn, that's right. And that's why they just say out there, you know, make sure you clear the fire hydrants, make sure you help firefighters be able to do their jobs, whether it's an abandoned home or an occupied home. Either way, they take these things very, very seriously, and they definitely need the community's help. Yes, indeed. And we thank them for their service. Thank you so much, Simon, for that live report. And we